I feel like I look like a makeup superhero. I'm undercover. Ow. Hello, I'm Amy Ecker and welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time. Either or. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we are doing a review on the Huda Beauty Ruby Obsessions. Real excited about this palette. So I had been eyeballing this palette forever because I love reds. Red is one of my favorite colors. And I know most people don't care about this, but my football team has red. And so I like to match my eyeshadows sometimes with my jersey or my football gear. For the rest of you that don't have like football, that's probably unimpressive. For those of you that have a team that doesn't have red in it, you could care less. But for me, I've been eyeballing this Huda Beauty Ruby Obsession palette for a while. Now, reds can be difficult. So there's two different ways of having a red eyeshadow. So it's complicated. For the most part, I've bought a lot of reds that, because I just want a really good red. That's all I want in life is a really good red. So these palettes keep getting me with reds. And for the most part, when you go to put on the red, it really blends down to a pink. And that part I have not been excited about. Well, when I first started using this, and you're gonna see it in the tutorial in a moment, this red didn't even start out. Like I, I would thought, well, maybe I didn't put my brush in it. I did have to put a lot of the product on my brush and then you see me using it and then the red kind of pops out. So the other thing you're going to see is I look like a masked person, a masked hero, a superwoman hero. I don't know. It just looks funny. But because I know red stain, I was really, really concerned about fallout because I had not used this palette before. So I did put a ton of powder because I couldn't find my tape. I don't know where my tape went. It disappeared off my table. It's gone. I used a lot of powder and it did have some fallout. So I was real, real excited that I prepped. I looked a little scary, but by prepping, it all worked out perfect. Now, I did use several colors in the palette. In fact, the only two I didn't use were these two here. Everything else I used in this eye look. And I, it, it just blended really, really well. So once I mastered this red, everything else went fine. I just had to put, like I said, more product on the brush than I had anticipated. And I think I just went in a little scared, to be honest, because again, I was concerned about fallout and the fact that red stain. I'm digging all these colors. Did I use all of them? Yes, I used all of them, but these two. Here is the lovely eye. Ooh, ah, oh. I should have figured out how to use that in there. It looks black from this way, and then when you turn it, it looks like it's got purple. I think it's got purple and black, but that is gorgeous. If you want to see how I created this red eye look, you're in the right spot. I also will keep in the rest of the cheeks and lips just in case you care. Just in case. Just in case. Get ready to have some fun with this Huda Beauty Ruby Obsessions. And on a scale of 1 to 10, where would I rank this? I would rank this as a 10. To be honest with you, I would repurchase this again. I know Huda Beauty has issues sometimes with her shadows. They're kind of hit and miss in their palettes. I don't know. I mean, everything in this palette worked fine for me. In fact, I used the brushes for the shimmer shades and had no problem. I was a little worried about that given that, you know, sometimes she has issues and with some of her other palettes of things performing. So I wanted to start out with a brush before I used my finger. Boom. I didn't need to use my finger. Nope did not. I was able to use a brush and that makes me extremely, extremely happy. I don't like using fingers in pans. I don't know why. They're my fingers. I know they're clean, but it just still creeps me out. These you can use a brush on and I really, really like that. I'm going to show you guys just a quick tutorial. It won't be long and drawn out. I'm trying to get better at that. Here we go. We're going to look at today's Huda Beauty Ruby Obsessions. Yes, we are. I'm afraid of fallout. I don't know why. I guess because reds can stain. I'm going to go ahead with this kind of winged look with some powder because I'm afraid of some stainage. I don't know that that's a proper term, but that's what I'm afraid of. 
some stainage. And these don't, don't have colors on the back, so you're just going to have to bear with me. There's no colors on the outside, none on the inside. We're going to start with this orangish color here, or terracotta. I guess I should have started with my eyebrows done. Oh well. The terracotta went on nice, for sure. I really like this bright red, and that's why I bought it, but I'm not sure yet. Yeah, we'll just go in. Wait, where's the red? Did I not get any on my brush? I see it on my brush. I don't see it on my eye. There we go. All right, we got to work this baby up. Heck, that didn't even start as a light pink, which I understand reds are hard. I didn't realize they were that hard. I've actually been looking for the perfect red for football season since my team is red. This might work. We're going to use this purplish color here or more of a ruby color. I'm not seeing a lot of fallout, but I am still happy that I have my superhero wings on. I'm going to take a clean brush and go back in with that terracotta and kind of diffuse those edges. Okay, that terracotta diffuses the edges really nice. Really. I'm feeling a spot of cut crease coming. In the inner corner, I want to use this color here, kind of a rosy color. It's kind of a gorgeous color. So I'm kind of, I'm going on about the third and then I'm bringing it up along that crease line. And we're going to use, we're going to put another little color right there. All right, so now we're going to pick up this purplish color here. And that's going to go on that little dot on the center of the eye. Okay, I do have some fallout, so I'm really glad I wore my superhero mask. Picking up the brush I had the red and the burgundy on, I'm just going to kind of sweep along those edges real quick just to kind of do a little bit of softening. Picking up another brush, I'm going to get this color here to go right under the eyebrows that I don't have decorated. Decorated eyebrows. Now that I have that red and purple on, I do feel like I'm a superhero. Taking kind of that thicker brush I just used, I'm going to pick up this purplish color here and bring it down underneath the eye. And then with this glittery color, purple-ish, I want to pick that up on the inner part of the eye so that my eyes don't look like they're just totally pink and I've got pink eye. I'm going to take the Kat Von D Lash Liner. and line the inner bits of the eye so that it does kind of ground that pink and kind of do a separation so hopefully the whites of my eyes don't look like I just got, I don't know, that I haven't slept in years. We're going to switch to the Blackest Black Lacquer 24 Hour. We're going to go ahead and decorate the eyebrows. Let me use the Dip Brow Pomade and Chocolate. I haven't used this in forever so this should be interesting. Oh, it's not too dry. All my stuff is dry. We're going to go in with some double decker lashes. Because this eye look is kind of bold, I feel like I do need some bold lashes to go with it. I just do. So we're going to use some Kara number 605. Now the Kara's don't have a, a strong band, so they're, they can be a little more tricky to put on. But I like them because they're kind of not perfect. They've got wispy pieces that go every which direction. And to me, that seems more natural. A <laughs> natural false eye. <laughs> okay, while those are setting up, we're going to go ahead and wipe away my mask. And that did help with the fallout. We are going to apply some finishing spray. I don't know why we just applied finishing spray. I haven't finished my face. I guess because it was so white under there. So while that's drying, we're going to use a little bit of the Too Faced Perfect Flush Brush. This is the Sweetheart Collection and this is Peach Beach. When I use purples or reds, I like to get a little bit of a peach look on my cheek. I feel like it grounds it. For highlighter, I'm going to use Tarte's Tardius Pro, and I think I want to go with the color Lit, because it's got a little bit more of a peach look. God, this palette smells yummy. Sometimes I think I get the palettes that smell good. Those sit in front of me. They could probably not even work, but they're going to sit in front of me because they smell nice. I'm going to use the Everlasting Kat Von D 
lip liner in D minor. And I'm not sure why I don't use that lip liner more often. That's pretty. All right, and then we're going to add some Sex on the Peach. In the middle of Sex on the Peach, we're going to add a little bit of doll face. Okay, so that kind of completes this look. What do you think? Hi, Mrs. Thank you so much for staying and watching the Huda Beauty Ruby Obsessions review and tutorial. Hoping that this helps you with your buying power. I do like the fact that these little guys are a lot less expensive than the big palettes. So this makes it more affordable for more people to have bits of her product without having to spend a lot of money. I did wait until I had a 20% off coupon because I just did. Actually, I've I went ahead and waited on several palettes until they were either on sale or I got a 20% off coupon. And this was one of my purchases for, I believe it was Black Friday. Let me tell you, this red is popping. Just make sure that you put on your Superwoman mask with your powder, so that, like I did, because that's helpful with a little bit of fallout. No stainage. We want no red stainage on the face. This was a neat little guy and I do plan on keeping this. I don't plan on giving this one away. Nope. Because it's just a great little palette. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have this palette, let me know. Send me some shots. I want to see what kind of red saucy eye looks you've done with it because I have had a blast with it today. Anyways, I hope you have a great day, and as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.